How to get rid of leeches. Outdoor activities like swimming and hiking are a great way to stay healthy. But they can also sometimes lead to rashes, sunburns, bug bites, and parasites like leeches. Leeches are typically water-dwelling invertebrates related to worms. They will feed by attaching themselves to a host and sucking its blood. Finding a leech on your body can be scary, but you don't need to panic. We'll give you simple steps that can help you calmly and safely remove a leech without any pain or complications from the bite. However, if you follow the right steps for safely removing the leech, there is very little danger or cause for concern. If leeches are a persistent problem in your area, you can also take steps to control their population. Welcome to The Guardian's Choice. This video will tell you how to removing leeches from your body and removing leeches from water. Follow all the steps in this video for the best results and don't forget to subscribe to get all the household tips and tricks you don't want to miss. Method 1. Removing leeches from your body. Number 1. Try to detach the leeches suckers. Locate the leeches oral sucker on the anterior, thinner end. Place your finger or fingernail on the skin next to this and gently slide it underneath. Push to the side to detach the leech. Repeat this step at the posterior end sucker, then flick the leech off of your body. Push the leech away as you detach it because it will try to reattach itself to your body. Make sure to start with the thinner, anterior end, which is actually the leech's head. Dispose of the leech away from the water after you have detached it. You can pour salt on the leech to ensure it is killed, but do this only after you have safely removed it. Number 2. Wait for the leech to fall off. Once the leech has had enough blood, it should fall off on its own, typically after about 20 minutes. If you cannot remove the leech safely, you may have to leave it and wait until it stops feeding. While this can be unsettling, the leech should not cause you any pain or serious injury. Dispose of the leech after it falls off. You can pour salt on the leech to ensure it is killed, but do this only after it detaches itself from your body. Number 3. Stop any bleeding. Leeches have anticoagulant enzymes that cause blood to flow freely. If the bite area continues to bleed after you remove the leech or after it falls off, apply gentle pressure with a clean cloth or gauze until the bleeding stops. Number 4. Clean the wound to prevent infection. Leeches can leave a small wound where they were attached to your body. Clean this wound using warm water and a mild soap. Afterwards, apply an over-the-counter antibacterial cream and bandage. In the event that the wound becomes infected, see a doctor. Number 5. Do not try to simply rip the leech off. Leeches are very flexible and difficult to grasp, and even if you are successful at grabbing one and pulling it off your body, this may make things worse. In ripping it away, parts of the leech's jaws may remain in your body, which can cause an infection. Number 6. Do not try to burn or poison the leech to cause it to detach. Many traditional remedies for removing leeches involve putting a match or flame to the leech's body, or pouring salt, alcohol, vinegar, or other things on the leech. While this will likely cause the leech to detach itself from your body, it may regurgitate the contents of its stomach back into the bite wound as it detaches. This can cause an infection. Number 7. See a doctor if necessary. If leeches are attached to sensitive areas, such as on your eye, or in an orifice such as your nasal cavity, vagina, or penis, you should see a doctor for professional help. Doctors are trained in the use of special techniques and equipment to remove leeches, and will be able to treat any infections or complications that arise. You should also see a doctor if, after removing a leech on your own, you notice signs of infection, irritation, or other unusual symptoms. Signs of infection can include redness, swelling, or pus at the site of the wound, as well as general pain and fever. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 2. 
Removing leeches from water. Number 1. Set a trap. Take a metal can with a reclosable lid, such as a large coffee can, and punch small holes in this lid. Put raw meat inside the can, close the lid, and tie a string around the can. Place this in shallow parts of water where you suspect leeches live, and they will be attracted to and enter the can. You can then pull the can out of the water and dispose of the leeches. Leeches are most active during warm months. Lay your trap, check it daily during warm periods, and dispose of any caught leeches. Repeat this until few or no leeches appear in the trap. The exact size of the holes you should punch in the can lid will depend on the species of leech. If no leeches are being caught in your trap, try a larger or smaller hole size until it works. Number 2. Attract ducks to the leech-infested area. Ducks may feed on leeches, which can help to keep their populations low. If you attract ducks using duck feed, however, this can increase levels of phosphorus in water and contribute to algae growth. Species of duck known to consume leeches include ringneck duck, athiacollars, wood duck, ixponsa, muscovy duck, Kyrena muscata. Number 3. Maintain populations of bluegill and largemouth bass fish. These fish are natural predators of leeches and will help to control their population. This method will only work for enclosed, private waters like ponds. Number 4. Control aquatic vegetation and debris. An overabundance of vegetation and organic debris in ponds and lakes is thought to contribute to the growth of leech populations. If possible, keep vegetation to about 10% of a pond surface area. Remove or control any excess vegetation to help combat leech infestation. Methods include Minimizing the feeding of fish and ducks. Their waste provides nutrients that increase the growth of aquatic vegetation. Manually removing vegetation from the water. It is best to remove the whole plant, roots and all. Make sure to discard the plants out of the water so that the debris does not nourish future plant growth. Dredging or deepening the body of water. The greater depth will make it harder for plants to root. Lowering the water level. Shallower water during cold and freezing times will make it more difficult for plants to establish. Lining the bottom of the body of water. Plastic sheeting or mineral layers at the bottom of the water can discourage aquatic vegetation. Introducing herbivores. A wide variety of ducks, geese, turtles, insects, snails, crayfish, and fish will eat aquatic vegetation and therefore reduce its growth. The Chinese grass carp, Tenopharyngodon idella, is thought to be a particularly good choice for this method. Using aquatic herbicides. Common choices include chelated copper compounds, fluoridone, sonar, 2,4-D, glyphosate, rodeo, Pond Master, Dyquat, and Endothol, Aquathol, Hydrothol. These may have a range of side effects, including fish kills. They may also need to be applied over and over again, because the vegetation that is killed decomposes in the water and contributes to future vegetation growth. Carefully follow all directions provided with herbicides, and contact your local county extension agent before introducing any species that may be considered invasive. Number 5. Use chemical control methods. Copper sulfate pentahydrate is used to control leech populations. The recommended dose is 5 ppm. This approach, however, will kill everything in the water, including fish and other creatures. Thus, this method should be used only in enclosed, fishless waters. Copper sulfate pentahydrate is toxic and must be handled properly. Follow all safety and usage guidelines provided with the product. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Tips 1. There are between 700 and 1,000 species of leeches worldwide. Most live in water, though some live on land. 2. Leeches, though they can cause discomfort, are not known to pass diseases to humans. In fact, they were traditionally used medicinally. Occasionally, leeches and leech byproducts are still used medicinally. 3. You can prevent leeches from attaching to your body by covering up exposed areas of skin when you are in waters that you suspect may be infested with leeches.
4. Ask for permission before attempting to remove leeches from a public area or a private area that is not your own. Choose the method that works best for you and your situation, and help to reduce leeches infestation. Follow this channel, to learn many more household tips, tricks, and life hacks like this. If you have other tips, please share them with us in the comments. Hope you enjoy, see you in the next video.